wasn't sure if this smart ring, the RingCon Gen 2, would give me a different experience than other rings that I have already tested in this market space. But since this one specifically pointed out the ability to detect sleep apnea, and it's supposed to be one of the most comfortable rings out there, my ears perked up. Starting at $299, this is the Gen 2. It's the smart ring, which is available in four different colors, why rose gold is over a hundred dollars more expensive than that is beyond me. I have no idea why that specific color is more expensive. By the way, make sure to check below for details on any discounts that are currently happening because there might be some. Now you can order a ring sizing kit just like any other smart ring out there to find your preferred size and they offer trade-in discounts plus device care and coverage packages. I definitely do recommend using the sizing kit because I went with the same size number as my previous rings and this this one was ever so slightly more snug, so you might need to size up a little bit in this one. What's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We dive into tech on this channel that is smart, secure, and stylish. Now, before we dive in, full disclosure, RingCon did send over this unit for testing, but as always, all the thoughts are my own, and they received no editorial control. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the ring itself. The Gen 2 is really lightweight. It's it's very thin and it's shockingly comfy. We are talking two to three grams depending on the size and just 6.8 millimeters wide at its slimmest point. It legitimately feels like a minimalist fashion ring more than a health tracker. This is the gold color, which was chosen so that it would be more easy for me to distinguish between my other smart rings that I own because if you just grab one in the morning, it's really easy to mix them up. And I also really do like this colorway. It's very shiny, so far it has not gotten scratched up, though it does pick up a lot of fingerprints. Now, Raincon went with a slightly square outer design with like curved edges and a circled inner ergonomic design, which I think helps with the comfort and it keeps it in place. A common issue that I have found with smart rings are the sensors are supposed to be on the bottom of your finger, but they always tend to twist around back and forth. And this one tends to stay in place a lot better. Now, there are two little bumps on the interior of the ring, and I think those might help keep it in place as well. And honestly, they're so small, you can't feel them at all. Now, if you are finding this video helpful, a subscribe would mean so much to me. That is the simplest way of showing me which videos you find helpful, which ones you find valuable, and it tells me which direction I should take my channel in. Also, a big Patreon shout out to my s'mores. You can join them and support my channel by going to patreon.com slash Shannon Morse to get perks like early video access, a monthly Q&A, and my private Discord. As usual, all the videos on my channel are free, completely free to watch, and I thank my YouTube members and my patrons, my s'mores for making that possible. Now under the hood, the RingCon Gen 2 packs a lot for something that barely weighs more than a paper clip. There's a PPG sensor, a temperature sensor, a three axis accelerometer, and low power Bluetooth. And then it tracks heart rate, SpO2, skin temperature, activity, and stress. You can also do the menstrual cycle forecast too, though I keep that data completely disabled due to privacy concerns with that type of data. But the big feature here is the sleep apnea monitoring. Now, RingCon is claiming to be the first smart ring to include continuous sleep apnea detection. And I think that's pretty interesting. I sometimes don't sleep well, and I wonder if I was snoring all night or I was just reacting to like noises or the kitten jumping on my bed or something like that. After being married for 11 years, I know, cause my husband has told me that it's extremely uncommon for me to snore, according to him. And my chances of having sleep apnea are probably extremely low. But just to make sure, I still like to see the data to back that up. Their internal testing showed a 90.7% accuracy rate for detecting OSA, which is called obstructive sleep apnea. That's not nothing. And the ring doesn't just tell you that you might have it. It also tracks your AHI index, which is the apnea index score. And it offers insights into why, and it gives recommendations for improving sleep or even tracking during treatment. The ring does require you to wear it for several nights in a row to gather accurate test results 
results, and over time, you can see a good example of your regular nighttime activity. The RingCon app is pretty polished too, but it does take some time for the ring to sync every single day. The dashboard is pretty self-explanatory, and it has a nice little generated diagram that shows you your wellness score for the day. You can also see from mine, my vitals are really great. My sleep could improve slightly, no surprise. Our kitten's been waking me up at 4.30 in the morning. It's crazy. She's very nocturnal. My relaxation could be improved and my activity score is absolutely horrible. Don't comment. <laughs> I work from home on a computer practically every single day. So again, no surprise. <laughs> it also tracks your sleep stages. It gives you notes about what can be improved. And there's even this section where you can track naps. Your vital signs are listed out into different tables. And it also points out any outliers in the data. Activity and step count tracking is also included in the tables with options to track exercise. Also, there are no subscription fees here. So features, metrics, and data is all included in here without a monthly fee. And that is a huge positive for me. If I'm paying a few hundred for a product, I don't wanna them also pay a subscription fee to use said product. Now let's talk about the battery because this is one of the most impressive parts. The Rincon Gen 2 lasts up to 10 to 12 days, depending on the size. That's already better than most of the smart rings out there, but they did not stop right there. You pop it into the charging case, which is right here. It is slightly bigger than other charging cases for smart rings, but it does come with a lid, which I really appreciate. And bam, you are looking at over 150 days of total use usage before you have to recharge the case. Truth be told, I have not had this thing for half a year, so I can't tell you how close that number is to accuracy, but yes, it does last a good week and a half. For example, usually I'm recharging rings after four to five days of use, smart rings, and after four days, this Rincon Gen 2 was at 67% battery with several days still left on that charge. That's huge. It's also water resistant up to 100 meters, or 328 feet. So unless you're a mermaid, you're, you're probably fine. The ring feels solid, but it never feels bulky. It handled hand washing and workouts, a kitten slightly biting on it, as well as regular daily wear and tear, just fine. So if we're wondering who is this for, because there's so many different smart rings out there, I think the Ring Con Gen 2 is especially great if you're somebody out there who suspects they might have sleep issues like OSA people who hate wearing bulky wrist trackers at night, anybody who wants 24 seven health data in a very discreet form that honestly looks like a true ring. I also hate having to remember to charge things all the time. So anybody like me who wants stress activity and wellness insights, but does not want to babysit a freaking charger every other day, then yeah, this might be for you. I'm curious if anybody else out there has used one of these ring con smart rings and what your thoughts on it were. I have I haven't had it for a super long period of time. So if you have had yours for a long period of time, let me know how the battery is lasting after having it for like several months. Comment below as well if there are any other smart rings you would like me to review because I do wanna do comparisons of all the different ones out there. I mean, hey, they're a couple of hundred bucks each. Some of them have subscription fees. So if we're gonna choose a smart ring, I wanna make sure it's the right one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.